Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a tool called Nfisher. This is a new, a new tool that I discovered from someone that left a comment on my Pi Fisher video. And I'm not sure if the developer just reached out and said make a video on his tool, but I had two or three folks reach out to me about this tool to make a video on it, just to demonstrate it. I never used this tool. I don't know how good it is. So let's just hang tight and see how it is, right? So like I always say, you know, please like, subscribe, share. We just hit over 20,000 subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you folks for the love and support. It means the world to me. So thank you for that. So this is a tool called Nfisher. Nfisher, I'm assuming, is another phishing tool. If we come down, it says the, the world's most powerful phishing tool. It's by Elegant. Um, yeah, and he has a you know a boatload of tools. If you just go to his repository, you can see. So I'm sure like this is probably his favorite. This is why he wanted to make a, a video on it. And he reached out about it. I'm guessing he's new because you know he only has you know 47 stars total, eight stars on that compared to like and that pie fisher. This is I had this up just to compare. You know, you have like 800 and uh, 56 stars. But if you guys want to see that Pie Fisher video, uh, you can check that out on my on my channel. But in this video, we're going to be, you know, tinkering around with this tool, how to install it, how to set it up, how to, you know, mess with it. So remember, all these tools you want to use in your own environment. And if you have both authorization from a client or your friend or your, do it for yourself. Don't ever misuse this information to gain unauthorized access to anyone's social media or anything like that. So, you know, about this tool, you know, this is from what he's saying, it's the most powerful phishing tool. It has a lot of advantages. Let's try it out. And yeah, so it has been tested on Kali Linux and Termex. We're going to be doing it on Kali Linux today. The requirements are obviously you need an internet connection, I would, I would assume and a storage of 300 megs. And the way you install it on Termex is here's all the commands. He laid it out pretty easy for you. And you can do, you know, app sudo apt update. You want to update the repository for Kali. Upgrade it if you haven't upgraded to the latest and greatest. Upgrade or oh, install get if you don't have get installed. And then go ahead and get clone the URL. And then we'll CD into that directory and we'll run bash. And then yeah, we'll check it out. So let's get let's get the ball rolling. So let's uh, open up a terminal. Wanna... Make this a little smaller. Okay, I want to bring this over to the side here. Okay, so let's uh want to make this a little bigger. And let's go to login as root. So what I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to go ahead and make a directory. I want to put uh, tools. I want to cd to tools. There's nothing in there, so we're good. So what I want to do really quick is I already have Git installed and all this stuff. I upgraded it, so we don't have to kill time. But if you haven't, go ahead and just take every step that you need uh, for Termex or Kali. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this URL. I just want to make this video really quick. And let's go ahead and hit enter. Once this is good, we can go ahead and just make this bigger now. All right, so now if we do an ls, oops, we see nfisher. So we cd into nfisher here. And now we have multiple uh, files here. So it's using bash. So we can do sudo bash and then nfisher. And this is the tool, right? So if we go up nfisher, um, I want to break down some. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to make this a million minute video. I'm trying to make it short, sweet, and uh, the point. So pretty much all these phishing tools are pretty much the same, right? You 
create the you create the URL, you send the URL, you see if the the um, the test the person that you're doing this phishing campaign with clicks on the link, gets their the username and information, and then um, you can tell the user, hey, you you fell for this phishing campaign. Please don't do that. Be aware, you know, and then you can do all your training. So here, the network status is online, so that's a good thing. And now it says choose a site. And I believe it has 68 sites, different kinds of sites. You have Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, you know, Adobe, all these kinds of uh, Facebook, GitHub, GitLab, Gmail, Google, G Play, iCloud, blah, 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 Instagram. So I want to give iCloud a, a jingle today. I am an Apple user for, for those folks. I, I do have an iPhone. So let me, let's go ahead and choose 21. Okay. So we have local hosts for devs, you know, uh, in order to, to use uh, number two, you need to create an account. Number three, you can have auto detects. And number four, you can have the local export, which is the max of 15 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna do it for devs, just for this, this, this uh, experience. Let's just go, we'll try a few, but let's do dev first. Okay, so, or is not supposed to. All right, so I'm guessing it had some problems setting up the server, but the port is listed on 4444. Do you want to set up a custom port? No, that's fine. I just want to have 4444 is fine. So technically, this is local. Remember, I'm not sending this out on the internet. I'm doing this all in my environment. So. If we take this HTTP, obviously it's not secure. So remember this is, whoops. I meant to copy it. So this is something that, you know, the users want to be careful for too, even though HTTPS is, you know, just as, you know, bad. So we have here over a little bit. Go ahead and enter again, iCloud. This is really, this is really bad. Um, all right, let's use a different option because that, that, that page loaded up a little wonky. Okay, so let's just go ahead and kill that. Let's clear, let's run it one more time. And we'll run one more tool. And so let's see, for an example, let's see what else we can test with. Uh, just say, let's say LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a, is a good one, right? So let's do LinkedIn. We want to use with, for example, we can have, uh, you know, code sent out to us for OP, uh, OTP. So I want to put number zero two, so I can use it with it. And I want to do the same thing. I'll do zero two. Let's see if I do zero. You want to install? Yes. Go ahead. If I don't have, I don't think I have it on this machine, so I'll, I'll install. I'll install it. Okay. Enter token. I'm just going to hit enter. Do you want to do a custom port? No. Four 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 is fine. Change the region? No. See what happens here. Give this a moment to do its thing. All right, do you want to customize? No, that's fine. We can just use everything default. All right, so the local, the local URL, I'm going to use the local because this is, I have permission to do this on my local machine. So I want to minimize this. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the browser, throw this in the browser. So now this is something like LinkedIn, right? This is a, a, a phishing page for LinkedIn. So say, for example, I put infosecpat at pat.com and then my password info, oh, infosecpat is cool, okay? Sign in, OPT, 
Okay, for example, I, I put two, three, four, five, whatever. Sign in. And then, okay, let's go back to our man. And we can see that. Let's do control C to kill it. All right, so what do we have here? We have infosecpat at pat.com is the, the email. The password is, you know, infosecpat is cool. So, you know, the, the, the IP address is my local IP. You know, LinkedIn o, OTP is I put 23456. And that's pretty much it. You know, this was, this was very, very simple. Obviously, there's, there's different tools that you guys can check out, but that's pretty much, you know, N Fisher in a nutshell. So hopefully it's been informative for you folks. And thank you for the recommendation, um, whoever recommended, because there was multiple people that did so. So thank you for that. And uh, hopefully this, this video you guys can see and you like it. And if you have any questions about it, please leave a comment in the description below. And uh, until next time, have a good one, folks. Thank you.